American Pickleball Organization has partnered with U.S. Cornhole to launch U.S. Picklehole, the official governing body of the emerging sport of Picklehole, patent pending. Picklehole's popularity isn't just growing, it's skyrocketing, with an impressive 268% surge over the past two years alone. It's America's next family-friendly pastime game. Picklehole is a unique sport that combines elements of cornhole and pickleball. It can be played indoors or outdoors, competitively or socially, on a modified tennis and cornhole court, making it accessible to a wide range of players. The gameplay involves the use of a paddle, a distinctive perforated ball similar to a wiffle ball, two cornhole boards and cornhole bags. Picklehole can be played with two or four players. The game of cornhole dates back to the early to mid 1900s, originating in Ohio. A true Renaissance man by the name of Cornelius Piccolito, a farmer and forward thinker, invented the corn cropper, also locally known as the crapper. Piccolito's crapper was the tool of choice for harvesting corn and other grains. Cornelius's young son, Yogi, would work the crapper starting at a very ripe age. Like father, like son, when not tending to the crops, Yogi would tinker and design prototypes of all sorts. One day, to pass time, he came up with an idea to fill a six by six inch square burlap bag full of corn kernels, and he would try to throw these corn bags through a hole he cut in a board. As many know, Yogi is credited as the one who invented cornhole. Uh, where can I start? Uh, I come from Ohio. My father was uh, mechanically inclined and he used to fix things and make things. Because around the farm we had a lot of burlap bags. So I cut, cut some up and made a, a bag out of it. We made a hole in the boards and uh, I was shooting them. Then, in 1951, devastation set in on the Piccolito farm. A historical locust plague infiltrated the Ohio Valley, wreaking havoc, killing off 90% of crops in the Midwest. Not only did the Piccolitos lose their crop that year, but young Yogi also lost a finger, tending to the crapper during the locust swarm. My father had this crapper that used to collect the crop, and we would just throw the stuff in there all the time. And it was just, you know, throwing in a crapper. One day the locust came and uh, I ran and got the machine and uh, I'm wiping my face. The, the locust is getting in my eyes and my hand got stuck and that's how I lost my finger. And I got pretty good at it after a while. And, uh, you know, working the crapper and I had some spare time so I would throw these bags burlap bags in a hole. The Piccolitos had no choice but to leave the farm behind and headed east, settling on Long Island, New York. In the 50s, tennis was very popular on Long Island due to the proximity to the U.S. Open. With Yogi down a finger, he wasn't getting the power he wanted in tennis, so he tried his hand at the new up-and-coming sport of pickleball. Yogi's creative juices kicked in once again and he meshed both pickleball and cornhole to invent the next best sport and he coined the phrase picklehole. The rest is history. For those who take picklehole seriously, a solid pre-game routine can help you mentally and physically to prepare you for the game. Many organizations across the nation have crossed over embracing U.S. Picklehole, including New York Cornhole, New Jersey Cornhole, Ward Boards, Las Vegas Pickleball, and Miami Pickleball. The U.S. Picklehole Championships are set for this Labor Day weekend in Las Vegas. Please visit us at picklehole.com for picklehole clinics, equipment, tournaments, and accessories.